there's an almost palpable excitement in the city and country as it prepares to host the World Cup, as it prepares to host the Olympics. In this city of Rio de Janeiro, over $110 billion will be spent in improvements, and it's hoped that this, is a, that this will be a catalytic moment that will vault this country in the near future into first world status. But the story we're doing is about a factor that more than any other might enable that outcome, that might enable Brazil to, to achieve that first world status, and that's its declining birth rate, its total fertility rate. Back in the 1960s, the average Brazilian woman bore six children. Today, the fertility rate is less than two children per woman. Demographers say that that is below replacement levels for this population. Our story looks into how this has come about. It boils down to the empowerment of women. Women have increased access to education, information, and contraception, and they've used it very effectively. There are two other factors that play into this trend. The first is the declining influence of the Catholic Church, which once was a very dominant social force, and today, there is a mass media culture that emphasizes materialism and a modernity. And part of that are the novellas or the wildly popular soap operas. And there isn't a soap opera family in this country that has more than two or three children. And the media influences are cited by many experts as one major reason for the downward trend in the birth rate here in Brazil. Where is it all leading? If you ask conservative people, they will tell you that Brazil is headed the way of Europe, in which you have an aging population and fewer and fewer younger workers to support them. If you talk to people, especially in the women's rights movement, they will tell you that Brazil has a unique opportunity to build a social safety net for the elderly of the future and to build a nation that has the closest thing to an ideal population equilibrium.